Welcome to NextStar TV, a free resource that uses video tutorials to explain IT topics. My name is Emily, and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010, User Guide Lesson 22, Footnotes and Endnotes. In this video, I'll be covering how to create and use footnotes and endnotes in Word. Okay, let's get started. So today we're going to be talking about footnotes and endnotes, and footnotes and endnotes are ways to cite sources in your document. Now the only difference between the two is their position. So footnotes will appear at the bottom of your page, and endnotes appear at the end of your document. Okay, so let's go over the parts of a footnote or an endnote. So right here, this is your reference mark. This shows which footnote or endnote you're referring to and that there is a footnote and endnote. And then if you come down to the bottom of your page, you'll see the rest of your footnote. And this right here is your separator line, and this just separates the body text from your footnote area. Uh, this is your footnote reference, and you'll notice it's the same number of symbol that we already saw in the reference mark earlier. And then right here, this is just the footnote text. Okay, so how to insert a footnote. To insert a footnote, you can do it two ways. Control-Alt-F, and you'll notice that that automatically will insert a footnote for you. Or another option that you can do is you can come up to your reference tab and you can click insert footnote and you see that this will also insert a footnote for you. Now inserting endnotes is very similar. Um, to do this you can do this two ways. You can press control alt D and you see that that inserts an endnote or you can come up to the reference tab and click insert endnote and you see that also inserts an endnote for you. Now if you want to delete a footnote or endnote, you just need to delete your reference mark. Um, if you don't delete the reference mark, you can delete all the text from the notes, but your separator line will still stay until you delete your reference mark. So you see, you just delete your reference mark, and you come down here and you no longer have end marks. And it would be the same thing if you did it with your footnotes. Now if you're working with a lot of endnotes um, and you have a very long document, sometimes it gets difficult to find a note that corresponds with a reference mark. But Word makes this easy for you because you can just double click any of your reference marks and this will automatically take you to your endnote or footnote. So you see if we just double click this, it automatically takes us to our footnote. Now if you've been working in your document and you decide that you want to switch um, an, a footnote to an endnote or an endnote to a footnote, uh, it's very easy to convert these. All you need to do is come down to the footnote or endnote that you want to switch, right click it, and if it's a footnote you'll see convert to endnote, or if it's an endnote you'll see convert to footnote. So you'll just click it, and it's automatically being converted for you. Now if you decide that you want to change all your endnotes to footnotes, or all your footnotes to endnotes, You'll just right click one of your footnotes or endnotes, go to note options, click the convert button, and you can select convert all footnotes to endnotes, convert all endnotes to footnotes, or swap footnotes and endnotes. So for this one we're just going to click swap footnotes and endnotes. And then you just click insert, and you'll notice that your footnotes and endnotes have been swapped. Now if you want to navigate easily between your notes, you can go to the reference tab and click the down arrow beside next footnote. And this area will allow you to navigate between your next and your previous footnotes or your next and your previous endnotes. Um, another option that you can do to navigate is go to home, go over to find, pull the drop down arrow, click go to, and here you can click footnote or endnote and you can search by the number of your footnote or a note. Now you can also change the positions of your notes. So if you right click one of your notes and click note options, you'll see for footnotes you can choose it to be at the bottom of the page or you can also choose below text. And then for endnotes, again you'll go to note options. You can see that you can choose the end of the section or the end of the document. And while you're in note options, you'll also notice that you can change the number format for your endnotes and footnotes. You can decide wh where you start your endnotes at, and you can decide the numbering and if it's going to be the whole document or not. 
And when you make any of these changes, you just click apply and they'll be applied to your document. Now the last thing that I want to show you is how to make changes to your separator line. So to make changes to your separator line, you're going to go to view, change the view to draft, then go to the references tab, click show notes, and click view footnote area or view endnote area depending on which one you want to change. And you're going to come down here and you're going to select footnote separator. And now what you can change in terms of looks of your footnote separator line is um, you can change the thickness and the color of it. And to do that, you're just going to use your font settings and increasing the font size will make your line thicker. And you can change the color of your line by changing your font color. Thank you for joining Nextara TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 22 Footnotes and Endnotes. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextera.tv for other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com front slash nextara.